my name is moment 247 and today i want to teach you how to import your trust wallet multi-chain wallet on either jewel wallet or metamask wallet and that's if you've already have an account on jewel wallet or metamask wallet and you're facing difficulty importing your trust wallet on either of those wallets because they require private key string for subsequent wallets to be imported on them so for for this particular tutorial i'll be making use of jewel wallet and then i will still switch to metamask as we go forward so on okay another thing is that i will have I will, I will also show you how to um set your your evm compatible networks on on your metamask or your jewel wallet but for jewel wallet the evms are automatically listed at, or automatically configured rather so you won't have to do anything for on jewel wallets but for metamask you have to manually configure your evm compatible chains so like i said before i have i go to my jewel wallet okay so my jewel wallet i have um i have four accounts already so this first account account one is actually the very first account i imported on jewel wallet via my mnemonic phrase subsequent accounts account three and account four were imported on my jewel wallet using private key string so i want you to take note that after importing your first wallet your first wallet on after importing or creating your first wallet on jewel wallet or metamask you will be facing difficulty importing subsequent wallets using your seed phrase so because what do wallet or metamask wallets requires to import your other wallets is the private key and trust wallet doesn't have provision for private keys okay another thing i would like you to notice that do wallet and metamask wallets are not multi-chain wallets they only support ethereum main network and evm ethereum main network and evm network evm network includes binance smart chain heco chain matic network um tomo chain avalanche network ftm etc so the what you should note about ethereum network and the evm is that the wallet address for your ethereum account can save as the wallet address for your avalanche account your bsc account your heco account your ftm your matic account so if you have the private key for that wallet you can use it for all all um you can use it to accept ethereum tokens as well as any token on the evm network okay so uh let's assume we have another wallet okay there is another let's assume we have another wallet we want to import on our jewel swap wallet and if you navigate to this section import wallet you see that what is required to successfully import your next wallet on jewel swap wallet or your metamask is your private key and heading to trust wallet you will discover that um if you discover that trust wallet has no provision for private key the only thing available on trust wallet is is um is recovery phrase which is a mnemonic phrase so if i click on recovery phrase i see my, my recovery phrase is shown here and then there is no provision for exporting or yeah exporting your private key so what you will have to do in order to get your private key will be for you to install token pocket wallet so if you don't already have token pocket wallet installed on your android phone or your your ios you have to head over to your app store and then search for um head over to your app store and search for head over to your app store and search for token pocket wallet which is this one here now i already have token pocket installed on my phone on my android so the only thing i have to do is for me to update I'm not interested in updating the app for now so let's head over so now the essence of the pocket wallet is to help us 
get the private key from our trust wallet in order for us to be able to import our trust wallet account on metamask or joe wallet so i get i will head over to my trust wallet again then copy the the mnemonic phrase copy the mnemonic phrase then open my token pocket wallet now on token pocket wallet this is a, this is the interface you will have for token pocket wallet but that, that is assuming if you've already imported a wallet on token pocket but if you haven't now this is how your wallet will look like uh it will look like this nothing will be here everything will just be blank 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 so for this particular tutorial i am going to import that seed freeze using the heco chain network remember like i said earlier heco bsc ftm matic are all evm and they can use the same private key so importing my seed phrase on heco chain network will give me the same private key as importing my seed phrase on binance smart chain network or or um maybe matic network or any other network that is e that is an evm so like i said if i'm going to make use of um heco chain here so heco chain click on add wallet then import wallet mnemonic import then paste my my seed phrase here then password will be metamask metamask another password meta mask okay done okay so i head over to assets then i can see that i have zero assets here ht as the main token of that particular platform which is the heco chain then in order for me to pull my private key from this wallet here i'll have to click on me go to manage wallets click on the heco chain network click on export private key input my password metamask confirm then this is the private key for that wallet i imported from trust wallet I, I copy the private key then i will head over to my jewel wallet or metamask mm -hmm. okay i head over to my jewel wallet jewel wallet on my jewel wallet i will click on the menu icon then click on import wallet then paste the private key here and then import the wallet now in order for us to be sure that the wallet is the same we check the the wallet address here the, the wallet address for this particular wallet ends with it's not refreshed i'm trying to refresh the wallet because it doesn't have any token in it mm -hmm. I don't have any token in it, so okay. So the wallet ends with D E A B. Then for for what I imported on on a Heco chain, the wallet address ends with D E A B. If you head over to your trust wallet, the trust wallet. You will discover that the wallet address for ethereum ends with ends with deab which means that we have successfully imported the wallet on our joe wallet now the process of importing the wallet on metamask is actually the same as what i have done using joe wallet okay let me still show you if i go to my my metamask If I go to my MetaMask, um, MetaMask wallet, now this is my MetaMask wallet. I, 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 I already, I have only one account here, which is this. This one is the subsequent account created, or should I call it the paraphrased account for this particular seed phrase? So if I should import my wallet here click on this and click on import an account paste the private key 
then in pots. Now, you can see that the wallet address still ends with D E A B, and the wallet is on Ethereum main network. Now, the other networks that are on Band, uh, uh, that are on MetaMax are all this test network here. They have stented test network of and uh, so the, your other wallets, sorry, your other network like the Binance Smart Chain network, um, the Heco network, the Matic network, the Avalanche network, the Temo, the Temo Chain network, the FTM network has to be manually configured on MetaMask. But for Drew wallets, those networks are automatically configured. And that's why I prefer. That's why I prefer. Um, that's why I prefer. I'm having issues here. Okay, the networks are automatically configured, so that's why I prefer uh, my my Joe wallet to. That's why I prefer my Joe wallet to to my MetaMax wallet. So I want to log back in. So logging back in. Now the network here on my Joe wallet is on BNC network. So if I should click on this, you can as I see other networks here, Ethereum main net network, Matic main net number chain. Avalanche will be on the test networks here. So if I select Matic Mainnet, I am telling my wallet that, okay, I want to interact with Matic Network. So change my wallet to Matic Network compatible so that we can interact with Matic Network. If I should change the network to Tomo Chain, I am telling my wallet that I want to interact with the Tomo Chain Mainnet network. So, allow my wallet to behave like what a Tomo Chain Mainnet Network wallet. If I should change it to Avalanche, the same thing. Hobby Echo Chain, the same thing. So, if I should change my network to Matic Main Network, it means that I can only access DApps on the Matic Mainnet. And I can also interact with um, DApps on Matic Network, provided that my wallet is on the Matic Mainnet network i don't know if that's clear but that's the best i can explain so i prefer the dual wallet to metamask because it has all this network automatically configured but for metamask you have to do that configuration and how to do that is actually very simple you simply click on the menu icon go to settings click on networks then click on add network then start imputing the network details, Matic network, the RPC URL, the chain ID symbol, and the block explorer URL can all be called from the respective network websites of which you intend to um, add their network. So that is all for the tutorial and I believe that I have done justice to whatever challenge you had faced in the past trying to import your wallet on, your, import your trust wallet on MetaMask.